Hi, I'm Emma Klein and I'm talking to Service 95 Book Club. My novel, The Guest, is due as monthly read for January. The Guest follows a character named Alex and a week in her life out in the Hamptons and she's kind of desperately grifting and scamming her way across a very closed, rarefied community. So I first came to this character of Alex uh, back in 2015, uh, which feels like very long ago now. But yeah, for me, it was just the idea of kind of a Tom Ripley-like character, someone who who is highly perceptive about the world around them. But at the same time, there's this core of self-knowledge that they'll never be able to access and kind of that interesting tension between, yeah, somebody who, who knows so much in a way, but then is also so delusional um, and kind of letting that character loose in this very rarefied environment. Yeah, I mean, there were, just because I have been working on this for such a long time, um, it has gone through a lot of iterations the one thing that did remain constant was Alex as a character and the setting. And I think for me, what what did, what, what the editing and, and writing process really came down to was coming up with kind of what are the conditions for this world that will kind of put this character to the test in the most interesting way. So for me, it was, you know, figuring out what's the timeline going to be and, and really thinking about how to kind of bracket that in the most effective way and you know coming to all right it's just going to be seven days in the life of this character um, and then playing a lot with you know how much we're going to know or not know about Alex and the people around her and there were versions of this book that did have more more information about her past or you know, kind of did fill in some of those blanks. So a lot of it was just coming to that, that balance, like feeling my way intuitively through that. So I write on my computer uh, and I do, I keep a journal, which I think it's a very loose, casual journal. I don't write in it every day. I don't write really long entries, but I just always Kind of, you know, there'll be a little detail or an observation that I'll want to write down. And I've been keeping it for 10 or 15 years now. Um, and there's something about that that I find really important for my writing process. Um, and then when I'm working on a project, it is just on my laptop, often in bed or sitting on the floor, which I think is terrible for my <laughs> posture um, in my back. but. I really, there's something about sitting on the floor with my computer kind of up on my space heater and that's kind of where I like writing the best, even though I have a desk, but I never use it. You know, with my first novel, The Girls, uh, it was very much, you know, set in another historical time. So there was a lot more research just done. I, I never wanted anything to be distracting. Um, and with a book like this, that's so much more, you know, it's set in contemporary times, it's atmospheric. It's a lot more just like, what are, what are the sensory details that I want to convey? What are the images that feel really accurate to this place? Um, so I'd, I'd visited Long Island. Uh, I'd never been out there for long stretches of time, but when I go out there, sometimes it's just even taking pictures or recording a little video out the window of my friend's car driving down a road just to, to be able to kind of look back and be like, okay, what, how would I describe this light or this, the strangeness of these roads or, um, yeah, so kind of gleaming little details in that way. You know, I don't know. I have a lot of writer friends and we're always kind of talking about about how weird writing is and and how, you know, it's really hard to explain to other people kind of what you do all day. Uh, but I don't know if there's anything particular to my writing style exactly. 
I mean, I think I, I definitely start usually with an image, whether that's an image of a character in a setting or kind of a place. So it's very image based for me. And I do have friends who kind of approach it much more from a story perspective first. Um, and I do think just ultimately my main goal as a writer is never, I never want to kind of pass any moral judgment on my characters. And, and I, I kind of reject the idea that uh, one should learn anything by the end of a book or uh, any work of art really.